ನಮಿ ಧನ್ವಂತರಿ ಮಾಿದೇವ ಸುರಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ಪಾದಪದ್ಮ ಲೋಕೈರ್ಜರಾರು ಭಯ ಮೃತ್ಯುನಾಶ ಧಾತಾರವೀಶ ವಿವಿಧೌಷಧಿ Om Sri Ganesha and Maha. At this auspicious moment, I bow down to the supreme powers in the form of wisdom, receptors and healthcare professionals. On behalf of Charak Sahita Research, Training and Skill Development Center, a YAMOU partner of IPGTRA Gujarat Airways and City Jamnagar, I welcome you all, the participants of the essay competition and the learners of health care. perspective now we the motive of this series is understanding the concept of health and creating awareness about its potential to prevent disease in today's era so without taking much time we will start our first talk by professor professor vaidya upendra dikshit here with the open reddit sheet that doesn't need any more introduction he is a very well known figure in the field of ayurved he has come he is presently the chief consultant and director at dikshit ayurved goa he has completed his md in basic principles of ayurved gujarat ayurved university jamnagar in 1995 he is phd in basic principles from pune university and ma sanskrit from tilak maharashtra vidyapeeth one of the unique feature he possesses is he has 24 years of teaching experience in charak sanhita only and he possesses uh, 20 more than 24 years of ug and 10 years of pg teaching experience with a wonderful consulting ex- uh, clinical experience in the field of ayurved he is known for treating many emergency conditions through ayurvedic treatment so i welcome you sir for uh, delivering your guest uh, speech I request you to start your speech, sir. Thank you. A very good afternoon to all. Today's topic is concept of swasthya, that is health and its components in Ayurveda Samhita. So as you all know, the aims of Ayurveda are bifolded. Swasthasthas स्वास्थ्य रक्षण दैट इज स्वास्थ्य रक्षण आतुरस्य विकार प्रशमन चयुर्वेद Bharatwaj learned ayurved from Indra and then this divine tradition it came down to earth and various sages they learned from Bharatwaj and then came into existence charak samhita and other samhitas and in that process now uh, we are here to learn about ayurved but this ayurved was taught to bharatwaj by indra in this form hetu lingaushada jnanam swastha dura parayanam त्रिसूत्रम शाश्वतम पुण्यम बुभुजयम पितामह एक्झॅक्टली इन द सेम वे इन विच पितामह दॅट इज ब्रह्मा हॅड प्रॉमलगेटेड आयुर्वेद इन द सेम वे दॅट मीन्स विदाउट चेंजिंग द कंटेंट इंद्र पास्ट ऑन दॅट नॉलेज टू भरद्वाज अँड द नॉलेज वॉज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ हेतु लिंग औषध ज्ञान सो देर फॉर स्वस्थापूर परायणम स्वस्थस्य हेतवा स्वस्थस्य लिंगाने स्वस्थस्य औषधाने in the same way aturasya etava aturasya lingani and aturasya ausadani so the best way to learn ayurveda is in this form therefore in today's presentation also we will learn who is swastha which are the hetu which maintain swasthya which, which are the linga of swasthya that means how to understand that one is healthy and ausadani which aushad can be used to maintain and promote health in this way 
we are going to proceed. So first of all, who is Swastha? So then, Vyapati and Nirukti is like Swasmin Tishthati. It is Swastha, Sustha. That is in Ocean. And even Chakrapani has said that Sushtu Nirvikaratvena Avatishthada. It is Swastha. So, Swasmin Tishthati. Swastha. So who is Swa? So that means various meanings can be taken from this. According to Charak Samvita, Sama Prakriti is ideally Swasthya. Sama Prakriti, the person who is having Sama Prakriti, he is having Swasthya. And the others are described as Sadaturaha. Vataladya Sadaturaha. Vatala Pittala Shleshmala and Vidoshaja Prakriti. They are described as Sadaturaha. Ideally, but uh, practically, the person who is Vatala, Vatala that means uh, in the words of others, Vata Prakriti, that person, he will consider the raksha on his skin or uh, the cracking sound from his uh, joints while he is walking and all such things he will consider as normal for him. And therefore, for him, that is the swasthya. For him, he is healthy. Ideally, he is not healthy. So, swastha, he is in his natural form. And that is to be maintained, but he has to be brought nearer to the ideal situation, that is Sama Prakriti, which is not possible practically that we will convert the Prakriti, we will change the Prakriti, but we have, we have to bring it nearer to that. And that is Prakriti Sthapan, that later on we will uh, talk more about Prakriti Sthapan. So, Swastha normal health for every person he looks at health in different perspective. One patient who was coming to Vaidyaraj uh, BP Nanal sir, he was uh, in a critical condition and his life was saved and gradually he improved. And then one day his wife came and she asked that how long I have to continue the medicine for my husband? Because now he is apparently healthy. So he asked that uh, why you are asking this question? She, she is told that uh, while he was ill, he was behaving uh, in a proper manner to me. He was good in his behavior. But now I think he uh, is like he was again, like he was back uh, before he got this illness. He is just like that now because he has started abusing me sometimes, sometimes beating me. So now I am fed up and that's why I am asking whether these medicines are to be continued or not. So sir said that, okay, now he is normal and his medicines can be stopped. That means what was he initially before getting his illness, now he has reached to the same stage. So he is but that's not sufficient. That's why they have added the word sustha, not just swastha, but sustha also he should be there. So he should be uh, near to samaprakriti. Health is perceived by various people in their own way. Every person, sometimes he thinks that I am normal, I am healthy. Uh, when this uh, Vaidyaraj B.P. Nanal sir, he used to take history. Some, uh, when he will ask the question that how is your, how many times approximately you pass urine throughout the day? He will say normal, just like other people. So, on Vaidyaraj Nanal sir will say that no, normal is different for every person. You tell about yourself, how many times you are passing urine, that you tell. So normal can be different. Uh, Vaidyaraj Kolatkar sir had a patient, a boy, and up till uh, approximately 10 years, he was having some problem, but he was not aware of that. Then he came for the treatment to Kolatkar sir, and then his vision improved. And then he told that last 10 years, he was viewing the world as if he is looking through a plastic paper, through a plastic bag. That way he was looking at the world, that way he was seeing the world. But he was thinking that this is normal. He was thinking that this is like everyone in the world, he is looking at the world in the same way. World appears to everyone in the same way, but it was not normal. So it may appear for a person that this is normal for me, ideally it may not be normal. So what is ideally normal that we should learn? Therefore, who is Swastha? The definition of Swastha. Definition of Swastha. As you all know, 
famous uh, definition given in Charak uh, Sushrut Samhita. Samadosha Samagnishta Samadha Tumala Kriha Prasanna Atme Indriya Mana Swastha Itya Vidya Adi. Now our teachers, uh, like Professor Bhagel sir, they told that the order in which these words are used, they are also very significant. Samadosha, then Samadosh will maintain Samagni. If Samagni is maintained, then Samadhatu Malakriya will be maintained. And then there will be Prasanna Atmendriya Manatva ultimately. So therefore, this order is also very important. And interestingly, the perspective changes throughout the years. Presently, if you will ask the question to anyone, any Ayurvedic student, that what is simple for you, what is more easy for you to understand Samadosh, Samagni, Samadhatu, Malakriya, this is easy, or to understand Prasanna, Atmendriya, Mana, this is easy. He will immediately say that, no, no, as, uh, Samadosh, Samagni, that is easy to understand, and Prasanna, Atmendriya, Mana is not that easy. But uh, the commentators, Dhanlan, as well as Chakrapani, uh, who has commented, uh, as you all know, Bhanumati uh, commentary on Sushrit Samhita, they have said that uh, Samadosha, Samagni and Samadhatu Malakriya is to be understood by observing Prasanna Atmendriyaman. So according to them, it is very easy to understand Prasanna Atmendriyaman. And on that basis, we have to understand that Samadosha and Samagni or Samadhatu Malakriya are present. Because uh, just before this shlok in Sushrit Samhita, they have mentioned that uh, it is not possible practically to exactly measure how how much is the quantity of doshas or dhatus in the body because it is dynamic it is continuously changing so it's very difficult at this moment where, what is the exact quantity of dosh dhatu mala and therefore on such parameters it is very difficult to understand that whether exactly the person is having samadosh samagni or samadhatu mala and therefore they have said that by observing prasanna atmendriya mana we have to uh, make anuman that okay dosh dhatu Mala, they are in Samya Vastha and Agni is Samagni. But for us, it becomes difficult. But later on, we will see how we can understand Prasanna Atmendriya Man. That also we will see. So, Swasthya is Swasthasya Bhava. The one who is Swastha, his condition is called as Swasthya, as we all know. Diseases are considered at different levels. In the same way, health, Arokya, also can be considered at different levels. Like, Rogas to dosha vaishamyam, dosha samyam arogata. So dosha samyam, at that level health can be understood. Vikaro dhatu vaishamyam, samyam prakriti ruchyate. So at that level also we can understand arogya, dhatu samyam, at that level. And here dhatu does not mean only rasaraktadi. Here dhatu means all, uh, vat pitta kafa, uh, rasaraktadi, then upadhatu and mala. All are included in dhatu, who are performing useful functions for dharan, or bearing the existence of the body. So Dhatu Samya is the level. But ultimately, Vikaro Dukkha Mevacha or Tad Dukkha Sayoga Vyadhaya Uchante, as long as any sort of sorrow, Dukkha, any sort of unhappiness is present in the life, even that is considered as rogue. And therefore, at that level, a parallel to that, Sukha Saudhyakam Arogyam. Sukha is also uh, described as Arogya. And Ultimately, the person will be permanently happy, permanent happiness, and permanently uh, eliminating the sorrow from life is possible when yoga moksha cha sarvasam vedananam avartanam. So by performing naishthiki chikitsa at that level, the person will be totally free from all sorts of dukkha, and that will be the perfect state of health, but ideal state, although it's not very easy to attain that state for everyone, but that is the ideal state. That, uh, that the sorrow is uh, removed, wiped out permanently. Now, if, at every step, we are going to uh, understand what is health, then pariksha of health, how to understand health. So, assessment of health, as described in Charak Samhita Vimansthan 8th chapter 89th paragraph, as well as in this paragraph, which is uh, shared on the screen from Kashyap Samhita, Annabilasho Bhuktasya Paripaka Sukhenacha etc., which uh, all of you know very well. And in this, this shlok, or in the paragraph given in Charak Samhita, practical and easy to assess parameters are given for health, and they are very important for assessment of health. Although they look like very easy, but they give us precisely the knowledge about Samadosh, Samagni, etc., conditions, and about the perfect health. And they are very practically uh, possible, 
and even they are given in such a way that even a layman can answer these questions and we can assess the way they can rightly assess his condition that whether it's really healthy or not so uh, well, that means uh, to understand to remember this we are telling students that uh, what they have described can be organized can be arranged in a different way like uh, what time he wakes up and while he wakes up he is happily waking up or he is feeling that no i should have slept little more time but now i have to wake up okay the alarm uh, is there so that's why i have to wake up like that then what he does then srushta vidmutra vatatvam so then whether he passes motions on his own normally without any trouble or not then he uh, he gets proper hunger or not that means uh, how the person wakes up in the morning and what he does throughout the day in that order if these things are arranged then practically it becomes easy to assess the condition of health of that person health again uh, is the person is healthy he never came across any disease it may be rare these days for a person to remain in totally healthy status because the person is exposed to so many pollutants and so many other factors so it's very difficult so the person may become unhealthy he may be having certain diseases and then again he follows pathya again he takes treatment from vaidyas or maybe doctors and he regains health and then that time also we have to assess health so that time how to assess health for that also so many guidelines are given in charak samhita and other texts this is one of the important guidelines that after the panchakarma procedures are over uh, and uh, now the person regains health then how to assess the health sarvakshamo hi asamsarga rati yukta sthirendriya balavan sattva sampanna vidnya prakritim gata again he has regained health so restoration of health for that this is the assessment and previously what we learned that was health originally what is the health and then this is restoration of health that time how to assess you will not go in details of this payadi krama rasabhyas rasabhyas abhyam upapadita swasthasya so upapadita swasthya restoration of health for that this is the criteria given in the text health is not just freedom from diseases a person is free from diseases that's not health according to ayurveda so according to ayurveda just dhatu samya is also not health dhatu are considered at different level shuddha dhatu vishuddha dhatu and vishuddha tara dhatu like that the dhatus are considered and vishuddha tara dhatu are called as sara dhatu dhatu saratva so that means not just quantity quantitatively but qualitatively also the dhatu should be in a good status then that will be perfect health and saravan person he will be perfectly healthy so that is also another consideration again so why this is important because uh, clinically we observe that clinically a person is having pandu we are quite sure about that but when we make assessment in the laboratory the hemoglobin percentage is normal so whether to call him pandu or not from ayurvedic point of view we will call him pandu and we will treat him because he is having some symptoms although his hemoglobin is normal so just normal reports uh, do not indicate that he is perfectly healthy uh, and just qualitatively qualitatively also the health should be properly maintained not just quantitatively again sukhayu and hitayu are the concepts in ayurved and we learned that sukha saudnakam arogyam so sukhayu happy life is having healthy life happy and healthy life and in that also what we find not just he is able to perform his routine activities properly that's not a perfect health what they have mentioned here visheshana yavanavata samartha anugata balavirya yasha paurusha parakram he can do all such things and parama ruddhi ruchir vividha upabhogasya he can enjoy the life samruddha sarva arambhasya whatever he initiates he is able to complete that task fulfill the uh, task he is complete his works because he is having that much capacity because of his good health yathashta vicharana and therefore at his will he can live his life he can lead his life then sukham ayu uchyate then here that is sukhayu so sukhayu should be there but ayurveda does not stop there he should be happy he should be healthy not only in this life but in the other life next life also for for that purpose hitayu is also described in ayurveda 
सो जस्ट नॉट जस्ट सुखायु नॉट जस्ट हेल्दी लाइफ बट लाइफ इन सच अ वे दैट द नेक्स्ट लाइफ विल बी ऑल्सो गुड लाइफ कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ हेल्थ एज फ्रॉम द डेफिनेशन ऑफ हेल्थ वी लर्न सम दोषा समाग्निश समाधा तुम्हारे क्रिया एंड प्रसन्न आत्मा इंद्रिय एंड मन तो तीस फैक्टर्स आर द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ हेल्थ अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेद नाउ नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन बाय वन अबाउट दोष ऑफकोर्स वी ऑल नो अबाउट दोष देर इज नो नीड टू टेल वॉट इज दोष बट दोष एंड वेदर द दोष आर हैविंग साम्य दोष साम्य हाउ टू असेस दैट अग्नि whether the, it is samagni and how to assess that whether samadhatu are there and how to assess that like that we are going to learn so first of all dosh although we all know that prakriti arambhakatva sati swatantra edu drushti kartrutvam doshatvam this is the perfect definition of doshas as given in madhukosh commentary vat pitta kafa they perform useful functions for the body and they also help for dharana of the body for maintaining the body or preparing the existence of the body in that sense vat pitta kapha are also are dhatu uh, when they are uh, deranged they are in abnormal status they produce abnormalities in other contents also of the body therefore they they are called as dosh and this capacity is present only in them swatantra and drushti kartrutva and when doshas increase beyond the normal limits they start behaving like mala that time they are called as mala so vat pitta kapha धातु दोष एंड मल अकॉर्डिंग टू देअर स्टेटस रस रक्ता युजली आर धातु बट वेन दे एक्सीड इन क्वांटिटी दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू सच प्रोडक्ट्स विच आर नॉट यूजफुल फॉर द बॉडी लाइक पस और अदर फॉर्म फॉर्म्स डिजनरेटेड देन डीकेड देन दे बिकम मल लाइक एंड देन दे आर टू वेरी मूड सो रस रक्ता दे एक्ट लाइक धातु एंड मल एंड Uh, mutra purish sphere etc they also perform useful functions for the uh, for the body for while but if they stay in the body for longer time then they start acting like mala and that's why we call them as mala so they are dhatu as well as mala so this is exact understanding of dosh dhatu and mala now dosh samya how to understand dosh samya dosha pravruddha swam lingam darshayanti yatha balam shrina jhati lingam swam समा स्वम कर्म कुरते इफ दे आर परफॉर्मिंग देअर फंक्शन नॉर्मली देन दे आर हैविंग साम्य सो विच आर द नॉर्मल फंक्शन ऑफ दोषास एज यू ऑल नो तम चला उत्साह उच्छ्वास निश्वास चेष्टा वेग प्रवर्तने सम्यक कत्या च धातु अक्षण पाटवे न एट्सेट्रा दिस ऑल्सो वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड ऑब्जर्व प्रैक्टिकली ऑन हेल्दी पर्सन एंड पेशंट्स फॉर एक्जाम्पल उत्साह दैट मीन्स इट इज डि डिफाइंड एज तुष्करेशु अभी कार्यशु अध्यवसाय द पर्सन इज रेडी टू टेक डिफिकल्ट टास्क अल्सो देन ही दैट इज उत्साह ओ आई एम हैविंग इंथुजियाजम टू इट टूडे आई एम हैविंग इंथुजियाजम दैट आई विल कैच द बस एंड गो टू माय ऑफिस टूडे दैट मच इज नॉट कॉल्ड एज उत्साह उत्साह मीन्स ही इज रेडी टू टेक डिफिकल्ट टास्क अल्सो दैट इज उत्साह सम्यक दत्त्या धातु नाम परिणाम ऑफ द धातु इज प्रॉपर देन सम प्रमाण ऑफ द बॉडी इज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व not karsha or sthaulya or other abnormalities so we can observe that the body uh, the dhatus are distributed the dhatus are arranged in the body in a proper way and therefore the parinaman of dhatus is going on properly like that each of these criteria we will uh, need to assess and where to observe these things dosha sthanani so therefore there was a very good thesis on dosha sthanani in jamnagar long back uh, i was uh, fortunately i have read that thesis and in that they have described the significance why the uh, dosha sthanani are described one of the important uh, significance of uh, dosha sthanani is that normal and abnormal functions of the doshas are to be observed at dosha sthanani on these sides we have to observe and there we will understand what is going on what is whether the doshas are functioning normally or, or abnormally and then our treatment is also targeted mainly on those parts of the body like that Uh, that this is describes very nicely the significance of dosha sthana and among three doshas as you all know the functions of vat are again very important avyahad gatiryasya sthana stah prakrutau sthita vayu sat so adhikam jivet vitaroga samachatam so free from diseases healthy life he will live 
for 100 years, which is expected at this era as per Ayurved, he will live when Vayu is performing its uh, functions properly and of Vyahatagati uh, is described as a Paritakta Swamarga, uh, that means Anavrata Marga, etc. That also we will have to learn. Now Agni, coming to Agni. The, function, the functions of Agni they have described that Ayurvarno Balam Swasthyam. So Swasthya is important function of Agni. And Yuktam Bhuktavato Yukto Dhatu Samyam Samam Bachan. So Samagni produces Dhatu Samya. That is also described. So Agni is very important component of health as per Ayurveda. And this is unique concept of Ayurveda, Agni. Uh, uh, of course, Dosha is also unique concept of Ayurveda. And Agni is very unique concept of Ayurveda. Not just proper nutrients are to be supplied for that person, but whether they are getting converted into, into body tissues or not properly. And that system, whether it is functioning or not. So Agni, and we don't forget Agni at any level. Maybe the patient is normally he is coming uh, to a general practitioner or he is in ICU. We need to assess Agni at all the levels for all the persons and even in Swastha person. And how to assess that the person is having Samagni? Yo yathakalam upayuktam annam samyak pachati sa samaha samay doshe. So because dosha samya agni. So uh, dosha samya affects agni. If there is dosha samya, samagni is there. And if Agni is Sama, then Doshas are produced normally and therefore those Sama is maintained. They are interdependent. Because it is told that Sama Prakopo Doshanam Sarvesham Agni Samushikto Tasmat Agnim Sadaraksha Vidana Nichi Varjet. So Agni, uh, is, if it is functioning properly, then Doshas are produced properly and therefore uh, Dosha Sama will be maintained. And in turn, if Dosha Sama is there, Agni will be maintained normal. So they are interdependent. So how to assess that a person is having Samagni? How to assess that a person is having Samagni? So it is told that Vishamagni, uh, Mandagni, Tikshnagni, what happens when that Agni is performing digestion, during the digestion and after the digestion, certain effects are mentioned here. They are enlisted here in Sushul Sutrasthan 35th chapter. The description is given about that. And the timing. Yamaish Chaturvel Dwabhyam Va Bhojja Vaisharja Yoho Samehi. So Bhojja, if the diet is digested within Chatur Yama, 12 hours and approximately. And if Vaisharja medicine is directed within uh, 2 Yama, then the Agni Sama. That is also one criteria. So in short, Samagni, how to assess? Samagni digest in proper time as just we saw, then while digesting, there is no discomfort during digestion or after digestion, then it is Samagni. And of course, as the function of Samagni, Dhatu Samya and Dosh Samya will be observed later on. That is also one criteria. Now coming to Dhatu, normal functions of the Dhatu. So as uh, we all know, Vikaro Dhatu Vaishamyam, in the commentary of that, it is said that Dhatava, Vatadaya, Rasadaya, so Tatu is a broad term and these are the normal functions of Dhatus. So when Dhatu are performing their normal functions, we will understand that they are having Dhatu Samya. And this I have taken from Ashtang Sangra because in Ashtang Sangra, the description about uh, functions of Dhatus is more comprehensive uh, from all the Samvitas they have covered important points and that's why I have quoted that without going in much details of that because everyone knows about that. How to assess Dhatu Samya? Already we have learned from Kashyap Samhita in Charak Vimastham 8th chapter. They have described this, that Rubhupashanam, Shamanam, Swaravarana Yoga, Shariro Pachaya, etc. So from that we will learn and we have discussed about this already. Now what is Mala? That needs to be explained because uh, Mala, some people or especially UG students may think that it is a waste product. It's not like that. So what, what are Mala? Mala Bhutaste ye sharirasya abadha karasu. They hamper the normal functions of the body and produce abnormalities, produce diseases. Such factors, they are called as ultimately Mala. And what they do, how they obstruct the normal activities? Sharir chidreshu upadeha. They form coatings uh, in different uh, akashiya bhao like srotas etc. Uh, 
Uthak Janmana, they are produced at various uh, places. Bhai Mukha, they have to be carried out of the body. And what, what are included? So they, are, they form quotations and then they start obstructing the normal processes of the body. So which factors are included under Mala? Paripakwasta Dhatwa, when Dhatu Park takes place, takes place. Dhatu Park, some people use as synonym for metabolism. That is not right. Dhatu Park, according to Ayurveda, is also always abnormal. Paripakwa Dhatu, Dhatu Park, when it takes place, then Dhatu start acting like Mala. Then they have to be removed from the body. Prakupitashta Vata Pitta Shleshmana, Prakupita, Vata Pitta Kapha, when uh, they qualitatively, quantitatively increase beyond limits and perform abnormal functions. They also start acting like mala, and therefore, through shodhan, we are taking them out. If vatpitta and kapha they are performing normal functions, we should not take them out. So, what we are taking out through woman is abnormal malabhut kapha, and that's why we are taking it out. Because mala should not be retained in the body. And how mala samya can be understood based on their normal functions, if their normal functions are performed properly, then we will understand that Mala Samya is present. So, Avashtamba, Anila, Anala Dharanehi, Shakrut. All these functions are very important. Practically, they can be understood. Some uh, UG students have the doubt that Avashtamba is the function of Shakrut. Avashtamba means they have Urdhva Dharanam, like that it is described. A person stands erect, straight, and you just observe when a person is having loose motions, immediately his posture is changed. He bends forward and his gait is changed totally. Then we understand, oh, function of Shari, uh, Shakrut, Purishit's Avastamba, why this is described, you will understand. And Anula, Anila Dharan, Dharan of Vata and Agni, that also when Vibandha is there or when Atisar is there, uh, functions of Agni are also affected, then we understand. Play the Twak Sneha Roma Dharani Svedaha. All these things are practically very important. When proper sweating, especially where I am practicing in coastal regions, sweating is normal and a person should sweat normally here because of the humidity. If he is not sweating properly, then there will be twak sneha roma dharana. This will not happen. Clay the uh, sneha, that will not be retained on the skin and therefore he will get various abnormalities of skin just by Correcting the Svedavas Rotas, that skin disorders will vanish if that is the case. Roma Dharana also. Um, that's why all these things are practically very important. Now coming to Indriya. How to assess that whether Indriya are Prasanna or Indriya, again, based on their normal functions, but uh, what is first of all described in the text that Prakritim Apadhyavanam Yathaswam Buddhim Apyayanti. If Indriya are functioning normally, then Indriya Buddhi, that means the knowledge obtained based on Indriya, based on the senses, that is gained properly, then we understand that Indriya are functioning properly. Exactly what is Prasanna? Prasanna is described as Nirmala, Achcha and Santushta. Prasanna. Uh, uh, when is satisfied, Nirmala, when Mala are removed, Achha, then that is called as prasanna and prasada from that prasada word prasanna is again made prasada means prasannata naimalyam and swasthyam so that is indicated of swasthya prasada prasannata is also indicative of swasthya therefore How to understand that Indriya are prasanna in the presence of mind with artha. That means the person, oh, I'm not willing to see, but I'm having work on computer. I am in the office where as a part of my job, I must see on the screen. And that's why, although I'm not, I'm feeling that I will close my eyes, but I will have to see. Not like that. Willingly, the Indriyas make contact with the objects. Then there is no discomfort while making contact with objects and after the contact. That means after making contact, the Indriya, the Indriya and their Adhishthan are feeling tired, not like that, or they are feeling discomfort or irritated, not like that. Then the Indriya are prasanna. And again, 
knowledge about the objects is gained with precision properly that will be also indicative that indriya are prasanna and happily and with proper health the indriya are function now here we need to mention that ayurved according to ayurved sharira indriya satvatma sanyogo ayuh we are not talking whatever we are talking in ayurved will be observed in the living body but we are not sure everything will be observed in the dissection room because we are talking about sharir indriya sattva atma sanyoga about that we are talking so not just about sharir and it is very significant that we accept separate existence of indriya separate existence of mind separate existence of atma and this is very significant we accept separate existence of indriya and we accept that ayurveda accepts that indriya is indriya are pancha bhautik and therefore we are able to treat indriya therefore even uh, the auditory nerve is damaged suppose or uh, retinal uh, degeneration is taking place of the uh, optic nerve or the retina then um, according to modern medicine very few chances are there for recovering the things but according what i have with ayurvedic treatment we are able to do it uh, up to some extent because we have got the concept of indriya and we can therefore treat indriya that's a very it is very significant mana again samyak yoga of mana with its uh, artha will lead to prakrutatva of mind samya of mana and therefore i'm not elaborating all these references on that basis what we learned and these are the artha of mana and these are the karma of man as you all know already indriya abhigraha karma manasa swasya nigraha indriya abhigraha mind makes contact with a particular indriya and then that indriya is activated it makes contact with the objects at that time other indriya are deactivated but this is happening so rapidly that we think that all the indriyas they are working at a time but mind uh, takes uh, mind uh, it makes contact and activates one indriya at a time actually ideally and but it is fastly happening very fast and indriya abhigraha indriya niyantran in this way that capturing one indriya at the same time deactivating other then capturing other indriya and de- deactivating others that way the functions of indriya are controlled by mind and swasya nigraha mind controls itself and tata param but uho vicharascha uho apoha that means pros and cons whether this object the nature of the objects and its utility or its wholesomeness for the body that is discussed by mind and based on that that is uha and apoha pros and cons regarding that and based on that buddhi takes proper decision so what will be prasanna man willingly mind makes contact with indriyas and properly activates them for making contact with objects there is no discomfort while making contact with objects and after contact knowledge about the objects is gained with precision and mind restrains itself and the senses properly when this is happening we will understand that mind mind is prasanna healthy again in mind indulges into such artha in the form of chintya vichara etc which are wholesome which are hita for the body and makes proper discussion about merits and demerits of objects which facilitates buddhi to take right decision and when mind is majoritarily dominated by sattva guna mind uh, continuously changes its nature it is sometimes dominated by raja sometimes by tama but for maximum time it is do- if it is dominated by sattva guna then it will be remain prasanna now about atma so prasannatva or aprasannato atma is actually atma it it becomes prasanna or aprasanna that means changes are taking place in atma but this is not possible since atma is nirvikara so therefore in charak samhita it is told that sanyoga purushasya ishto visheshyo vedana prata so it is not actually of atma alone when atma is in combination with the other principles that time sukha dukha etc vedana they are produced so sukha dukha etc they are present in buddhyadi rashi in that combination that combination experiences sukha dukha etc not just alone atma
इच्छा देश सुख दुख एटसेट्रा रिसाइड इन आत्मा दीज आर आरोपित गुण दैट मीन्स दे आर एट्रीब्यूटेड टू आत्मा एक्चुअली दे आर नॉट गुण ऑफ आत्मा एज सच बट दे आर एट्रीब्यूटेड टू आत्मा एंड वॉट इज देर नॉर्मल फंक्शन आर हाईलाइटेड हियर दैट सम बुद्धि पश्यति धृति भी नियमात्मिका एंड तत्वज्ञान स्मृति रेस एंड स्मर्तव्य स्मृत स्थित बेस्ड ऑन ऑल दीज रेफरसेस आई हेव नॉट एलैबरेटेड ऑल दोज रेफरसेस बिकॉज इट मे टेक लॉन्गर टाइम सुख एंड दुख आर आत्मज भाव इच्छा द्वेश एटसेट्रा आर आरोपित एट्रीब्यूटेड गुण ऑफ आत्मा सुख दुख आर इम्पैक्ट ऑफ संयोग पुरुष तो प्रसन्नत्व ऑफ संयोग पुरुष कैन बी अंडरस्टूड बाय प्रयत्न इनिशिएशन फॉर होल सम एक्टिविटीज थ्रू बुद्धिमन इंद्रिय राइट डिशीजन आर टेकन बाय बुद्धि अबाउट होलसम एंड अनहोलसम ऑब्जेक्ट्स because buddhi resides in atma therefore it will reflect that atma is present and uh, the functions related to atma actually they are not functions of atma are being performed properly by druti mind is restrained and from making contact with uh, unwholesome objects by tatvat smriti the true nature of self is not forgotten and therefore prajna parada are avoided initiation for efforts to get not just sukha but hitayu and moksha is provided to attain eternal place so the prayatna is atma guna because therefore initiation that comes from atma now maintenance of health briefly we will see our maintenance maintenance of health ayurveda is having its unique view that know your body maintain health yourself and get guidance from vaidyas from according to ayurveda health is not something which can be distributed from primary health centers or other health centers according to ayurved health every person has to understand about his own body and then he has to protect his health and he has to take guidance from vaidyas for this purpose that is the main difference therefore ahara matra agni bala bhikshuni who will decide every morning or every afternoon before breakfast before lunch the person will call vaidya That today how much I should eat, what I should eat? No, why they will guide him that this is your prakriti, this is the condition of your agni. Now you assess yourself and you decide what to eat every day. Why they cannot teach him what to decide uh, eat? So the person he has to understand about his own body, and why they will guide him in this regard. So guidance will be given, and that for the society, the people will maintain their health on their own. That is the purpose of Ayurved. तत्र शरीरम नाम तो फॉर मेंटेनिंग हेल्थ तत्र शरीरम नाम चेतना अधिष्ठान भूतम पंच महावर भूत विकार समुदाय समयोग वाही समयोग वाहित्व इज अ नॉर्मल फीचर ऑफ शरीर शरीर ट्राइज टू मेंटेन समयोग ऑफ ऑल इज कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट्स एज फार एज पॉसिबल एंड फॉर दिस पर्पज वेरियस एक्टिविटीज आर परफॉर्म बाय द बॉडी फॉर एक्जाम्पल बाय प्रोड्यूसिंग इच्छा एंड द्वेश बॉडी प्रोड्यूसेस द्वेश acted towards such objects which are unwholesome which may disturb the equilibrium of body constituents and the body produces desire for such objects which are good to maintain health which will be maintaining equilibrium of the body constituents and that way samayoga why samayoga is maintained again the healing of wounds or jivan karya uh, every body constituent its uh, existence is maintained for a particular lifetime so by by all such procedures this samayoga is maintained so it is a inherent process in the body to maintain samayoga and uh, vaidya has to help that process so that the body itself will maintain we cannot maintain health or we cannot maintain normal functions of the body by producing uh, medicines or but blood pressure is maintained by taking daily the person is taking blood pressure tablets and throughout the life is taking so he is he cured is he, his his body has attained health again no it is just maintained on the basis of external factors ha huh. that like he is standing on crutches so that should not happen the body itself itself should be capable of maintaining the health some of you one and we should facilitate by medicines for a certain time to the body for this and then the body will maintain on its own that that is the approach of ayurved again kala buddhi indriya arthanam yoga mithya nacha dicha dvaya shrayanam vyajanam te vidhu hetu sangraha and 
योगस्तु सुखानं कारण समायण सुख संज्ञकं आरोग्यम एज वी नो देर फॉर आरोग्य सम योग ऑफ काल बुद्धि एंड इंद्रियार्थ इट इज इम्पॉर्टंट एंड बाय दैट हेल्थ कैन बी मेन्टेन्ड तो अकॉर्डिंग टू आयुर्वेद वी कैन से दैट योग ऑफ आयुर्वेद इज सम योग इन अ वे वी कैन से स्वास्थ्य स्वस्थ चतुष्क गाइड्स अस वेरी प्रॉपरली अबाउट हाउ हेल्थ कैन बी प्रिजर्व वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू टच इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फ्रॉम दिस बिकॉज अदरवाइज वी विल टू डिस्कस द होल स्वस्थ वृत्त हि बट इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट वील जस्ट मेन्शन इन दिस प्रोसेस तो फर्स्ट चैप्टर इज मात्रा शीतीय मेनली अबाउट हेल्थी डाएट एंड अबाउट अदर दिनचर्या एंड डेली रेजिमेंट एंड अदर फैक्टर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हिताबेर जुहुयात नित्यम अंतरग्निम समायता सो हाउ अ पर्सन शुड इट फूड ही शुड कन्सिडर इट लाइक यज्ञ लाइक यज्ञ एंड दर फॉर इन यज्ञ वॉट यू विल डू ओनली प्रॉपर क्वांटिटी वी विल ऑफर टू द सैक्रेड फायर एंड ओनली द ऑस्पिशियस थिंग्स वील ऑफर टू द सैक्रेड फायर सो दैट वे वी शुड टेक फूड एंड देन हेल्थ विल बी मेन्टेन आहार मात्र इज टू बी डिसाइडेड ऑन अग्निबल एंड आहार द्रव्य by the person under the guidance of vaidya as we learned just now vaidya will not every time decide that so tribhag sauvitya or ardha sauvitya of guru and lagu na ati sauvitya sauvitya means uh, when a person is and then he feels that uh, oh this is sufficient i can't eat more that uh, sensation that is sauvitya so that should not be or and nitam sarva rasa abhyasa all the rasa they should be taken in proper quantity in the diet then health will be maintained and according to ayurved shat rasatmak ahara and chaturvida ahara and when it is used by proper vidhi and ahar varga vichar then balanced diet that is according to ayurved balanced diet uh, uh, how many calories i should eat then uh, every every day the mother wakes up and she thinks that uh, in my family my husband is there my um other relatives are there my children are there so everyone how many calories uh, they need so accordingly she cal- makes a calculation that how much dal how much this thing and then she calculates and then this she starts cooking is this practical but according to ayurved make use of shad rasa properly very simple method but that way the balanced diet will be maintained so very simple and effective method and ahar varga vichar so that's why what ayurved is telling is very much practical and it is important again all the dal they are having they are all containing proteins no mudka is having different effects mash is having different effects every dal is having different so ayurved is uh, giving much more details and that's why we should pay attention to that and uh, explain to the society and it will be beneficial for the society all of you know that trivida kukshiya you should follow that then charak viman sthan it described ajirnas viharatmak hetu i am not elaborating them right now but they are practically very important today today how many people we find who are eating lot of quantity of food uh, there are maximum people they are eating less quantity of food and still am is produced why it is produced you will get the answer here charak viman sthan second chapter 8th and 9th shlok again ahar vidhi and that is very important these days Uh, gi motility and such disorders from that that is also one important area and then we understand the importance of this ahar vidhi ushna vasniya snigdha vasniya ajalpan ahasan lagu tan mana budjit all these things uh, to bms students uh, undergraduate students it appears that oh just like to children we are telling you know, like that these people are telling to us what uh, what is significance of this and when the person comes with such uh, disorders Of the GI tract, then again the same thing. So the simple things we have to explain to them that don't eat very fast, don't eat very slow. Because eating very fast that will uh, make changes in the GI motility and that causes GI uh, that reflux disorder and other many much uh, many other disorders. So Ashtavahara Vidhi Visheshayatan or Saptahara Kalpana Vishesh according to Ashtanga Sangra. Then we have got a list of Abhyaset and Nashilet. Which food article should be used daily? and which should be used occasionally they should not be used daily again viruddha aahar is very important concept in ayurved and which is unique which is not yet found in modern medicine 
देन अंडर दिनचर्य आई एम नॉट एलेबरेटिंग ऑल दैट बट बद्ध क्रम एंड अबद्ध क्रम विहार आर डिस्क्राइब इन दिनचर्या अकॉर्डिंग टू हेमाद्री बद्ध क्रम दे आर टू बी फॉलोड बाय एवरी वन लाइक दंत धावन गंडूश एक्सेट्रा अभ्यंग व्यायाम एंड अबद्ध क्रम विहार अ पर्सन कैन टेक लिबर्टी अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज बिजनेस और हिज प्रोफेशन ही कैन मेक चेंजेस इन दैट दे आर पर्डेस अबद्ध क्रम विहार देन रात्रिचर्या इन दैट निद्रा एंड इन अष्टांग संग्रह अब्रह्मचर्य इज मेन्शन वेर एज द आदर्स मेन्शन ब्रह्मचर्य दैट मीन्स अ प्रॉपर बैलेंस दैट मीन्स दैट मीन्स प्रॉपरली बाय फॉलोइंग रूल्स ऑफ हेल्थ इफ मैथुन इज परफॉर्म दैट इज एक्सपेक्टेड बाय आयुर्वेद नॉट टोटली सेलिबसी और नॉट ओवर इंडल्ज इन सेक्स ऑल्सो आहार निद्रा एंड ब्रह्मचर्य इन सुशूल संविधा देव गिवन वेरी डिटेल्स अबाउट हेल्थी डाएट एंड इन दैट वेरियस इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स आर मेन्शन जस्ट मेन्शन डेम ऑन द स्क्रीन आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू इलेबरेट दैम दैट वेर द फूड शुड बी कुक्स टू विच संस्कार शुड बी परफॉर्म ऑन द फूड if uh, the cooked food how it should be stored stored at which place how much time should be taken for it, uh, eating vishishta pradhan that is how the food should be served in which order the food should be eaten what is anupan before the food what is to be done after taking food what is to be done that means chatapadam gachet and vama kukshau chayanam etc then ऋतु ऋतुचर्य तस्थित अध्याय इन दैट ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट ऋतु साधना विसर्ग आदान काल भेद आर डिस्क्राइब एंड देर इफेक्ट ऑन द बॉडी आर डिस्क्राइब इन स्पेसिफिक सीजन देर इज अ स्पेसिफिक कंडीशन ऑफ द दोषाज एंड अग्नि एंड बल अकॉर्डिंगली वॉट विच आहार शुड बी टेकन विच स्पेसिफिक रस विल बी प्रेडॉमिनेटली यूज इन दैट सीजन विच गुण एंड एज पर आहार वर्ग एज पर आहार वर्ग फ्रॉम एवरी वर्ग which articles we should use in our diet that is uh, guidance we get from the text and ruto anusar and vihar panchakarma it is described that hemantikam dosha chayam vasante pravayan kreshmikam abhrakale so according to seasons vishishta panchakarma are described and when they are performed they are for healthy persons also to maintain health to prevent diseases and ruto anusar various upakram like uh, abhyanga udvartan or samvahan etc or even music is mentioned now navegan dharani adhyay it is uh, unique and very important concept and in today's era it has become become more relevant because many people are performing vaid dharan so what is vaid and uh, many diseases are produced due to vaid udhiran and dharan so adharani vaid if they are restrained then which effects are produced and their treatment practically we are getting all this once the person gets vomiting immediately he rushes to the medical store and takes a medicine takes a tablet to suppress that vomiting and therefore actually there were some doshas which were trying to move out but he has suppressed them now the doshas will move to uh, uh, other rog marga like madhyam rog marga and they may produce even more serious disorders so that's why uh, there we have to think about chardi dharan veg dharan otherwise uh, uh, some pe- uh, people may think that where we will I get this, but pe- people are doing this. You inquire pe- uh, with the patients, and people are doing it. I'm not elaborating them. For example, one person he had come for a raised BP, and he had pericardia, a pain while defecating. And when properly inquired, it was understood that that person he told that the toilets in my office are not good, and I have heard somewhere that passing motions once in a day is normal. So even if I get uh, urge at other time. i suppress it till the next morning and when he does that then the stools become hard and then he gets the trouble then he gets pericardia and then he gets pain when he was advised not to do that and properly medicines were given not only this problem was solved but his blood pressure also started remaining normal and his medicines for modern medicines for blood pressure were stopped so this concept of vague is very very important dharaniya vague sahas practically all such things we get in our practice and karmashah viramet naraha uchitat ahitat this is also very important stem and abruptly suddenly when the person stops then uh, he gets certain abnormalities due to that like withdrawal symptoms and therefore karmashah viramet naraha prakriti sthapan is also mentioned under that 
तो वातल पित्तल श्लेष्मलार डिस्क्राइब्ड अस सदा तुर एंड इफ दे आर सदा तुर दे हैव टू मेंटेन देयर हेल्थ बाय फॉलोइंग वात से उपक्रम हा पित्त से उपक्रम एंड कफ से उपक्रम फॉर देयर लाइफ टाइम दे हैव टू फॉलो दैट सो दैट दे विल बी कमिंग नियर एंड टू सम प्रकृति समवेयर नाउ फॉर निजरोग अनुत्पत्ति स्वस्थ वृत्त से पालन ऋतु अनुसार एंड शोधन में रसायन वाजीकरण सेवन दैट इज डिस्क्राइब्ड एंड फॉर आगंतु Diseases also anupatti vidhi is described. This is significant. Someone may think that agantu means what I can do about that. If uh, mosquito bites me or if something happens to me, what I am going to do in that regard? But for that also, certain things are mentioned by which, as far as possible, we can prevent such things. So for that also, guidance is available. And indriyo patramani adhyay in that swasthya of indriya man and buddhi. How to maintain that? For that, sadhguruta is mentioned. So sometimes UG students they think that oh, speak truth, uh, behave nicely to others, etc. These are like uh, school children uh, advices are given here, but they are very very significant. By which indriya man and buddhi, their health is man- maintained by following sadhguruta. And how that I am not going to explain right now because it will take long time. But sadhguruta helps to maintain health of this. That we have to remember. and the sadhguruta as it is given in ayurved it is so much nicely given in brief but very important things are described in ayurved like nacha sarvatra vishrabdha nacha shankita in a nutshell such nice advice is given when uh, a lady who is educationalist and she uh, learned about this sadhguruta when, when i told about her uh, the, this sadhguruta she is very learned lady and she had learned so many uh, books uh, and she when she learned this she said that oh this is very nice and this should be taught to every school children and even college going students now ayurved does not talk only about maintaining health but ayurved talks about promotion of health also and again we learned that hetu linga aushadha jnana so hetu linga and aushadha so aushadha for swastha what is that swasthasya urjas karam स्वस्थ ऊर्जस्क्रम यू तदृश्यम तद रसायन सो रसायन एंड वाजीकरण आर मेन्शन स्वस्थ सो स्वस्थ पर्सन ही कैन नॉट जस्ट मेन्टेन हेल्थ बट ही कैन प्रमोट हेल्थ ही कैन इंप्रूव हिज हेल्थ बाय फॉलोइंग बाय बाय यूजिंग रसायन एंड वाजीकरण एंड दैट ही हेज टू स्टार्ट पूर्वे वयसी मध्यवा देर ही हेज टू स्टार्ट नॉट एट अ ओल्ड एज सो हेल्थ हेज टू बी मेन्टेन rasayan and vajikaran should be taken and therefore the jara the old age and other diseases can be prevented and it's a continuous process it's not that suddenly he takes uh, rasayan and immediately instantaneously he becomes healthy just like today people are coming to us and they are asking for some pill for immunity they will they think that they will behave as per their wish they will eat whatever they want but just by having that pill of immunity their immunity will be maintained it's not like that so according to ayurved just uh, remaining healthy we are not satisfied with that but we want to promote the health so what we expect prabhavarana swara audaryam we want to improve the swara we want to improve our strength vak siddhim pratim kantim so some extraordinary benefits are there therefore if i will say this will not be exaggeration that ayurved does not think only about health ayurved is thinking about something like super health by making use of rasayan and vajikaran and vajikaran is not just about aphrodisiacs vajikaran it is described as for example apatya santana karam so vajikaran it has got effects which are transferred to the next generation so even the genetic disorders on that we can uh, think of vajikaran medicines to correct that and vajikaran it improves shukra and from shukra oj is improved and in charak samhita sutra sthan first chapter chakramani has explained that oj forms the bridge between the body and other higher uh, constituents like indriya man and buddhi so indriya man and buddhi effects are transferred to them through oj and therefore when oj is improved by rasayan then indriya man and buddhi even on them effects are observed and rasayan uh, by rasayan and vajikaran not just health is mentioned आरोग्य करम अनिल बट बाय मेकिंग यूज ऑफ रसायन निद्रा तंद्रा श्रम क्लम आलस्य दौर्बल्य अपहरम 
a person sleeps very less nidra is lessened he is never tired he is constantly working you may think about our prime minister maybe that he is also taking some rasayans or such other people who are yogi they are sleeping very less but still they are not tired they are tirelessly continuously working so this is the effect of rasayan that is ultimately expected by health for us therefore in specific rasayan again some extraordinary benefits are mentioned like lohadi rasayan it mentions about abhigatai adrushya even injuries will not make more impact on their body and shuddha dhari so we are talking we are not just talking about health we are talking about something like super health so already i think we have touched some important points this is a vast topic and it will it covers almost the whole swastha with the subject which uh, teachers teach in uh, one and a half year or one year therefore we have touched some important points and the summary of swastha with as we can say is given in charak sharistan second chapter that naro hitar vihar sevi समीक्षकारी विशेष प्रसक्ता दाता समस्त सत्य पर क्षमा आप सेवी चवती अरोग इन नक्शल वॉट वी डिस्कस्ड ऑल द आस्पेक्ट्स दे आर कवर्ड इन दिस वन श्लोक इन अक्शल वी कैन से सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर पेशंट लिस्निंग यू कैन जॉइन अस ऑन यूट्यूब एंड आवर फेसबुक पेज और जॉइन टू अवर वेबसाइट फॉर फर्दर इन्फॉर्मेशन and i thank the organizers to give me opportunity to talk on this important subject uh, uh, as the beginning of the series of talks by experts and i have not touched how the these concepts can be practically implemented or how to compare them with the present concepts of modern medicine because some of my colleagues some of my seniors and some of my teachers very will be very nicely covering them in the upcoming talks so thank you very much for patient listening thank you so much sir for a wonderful lecture uh, you have in a way decoded all the components of health of sushruta's definition very nicely and elaborately uh, you are the best data mining scientist of sanhita uh, i think so uh, it's it's very true that health is a personal responsibility as you said and uh, the definition of health uh, expressed in ayurved uh, that is very much elaborate to